It's a never-ending parade of meat. Which guy for a filet mignon? Meat. Some ribeye. And more meat. On beef and bottom sirloin, sir. In Boston's Back Bay, there's a new spot for steak, and its name is Fogo de Chão. We are in the meat business. First opened in Brazil in 1979, and now with more than two dozen locations around the world, Fogo de Chão is a Brazilian-style steakhouse where waiters circle the 300-seat dining room with slow-roasted skewers of beef, pork, lamb, and more, serving up slice after slice of whatever cuts of meat you want to eat. Once the meats start arriving and you start tasting these different flavors, that's when the people really start to get excited. For those who prefer the familiar, there's tender filet mignon and impossibly juicy ribeye, but according According to General Manager Adam Schroeder, Fogo's signature skewer is the picanha, cut from the prime part of the sirloin and seasoned with sea salt. In Brazil, this is like the creme de la creme. It's a really rich flavor. It has marbling of fat along the outside, and when you slice it off very thin, it's probably as tender as filet mignon with a little more flavor. Every skewer tastes as good as it looks, but none is more impressive than the enormous piece of top sirloin known as the alcatra. When it comes to the table, you know, that first image of the alcatra coming to the table is just like, wow, yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of that. And that's what's great about a meal at Fogo de Chão. Unlike a typical steakhouse where you're stuck with whatever style of steak you order, here you can taste a little bit of everything. They're not bored by any flavor. They're not having to, you know, enjoy 16 ounces of the same flavor. They're, they're continually changing that taste, and I think that's really what adds to the, to the excitement. On a busy night, Fogo de Chão serves more than a thousand pounds of meat. All of it's cooked in these state-of-the-art rotisserie grills that slow roast everything to perfection. Basically, we have two areas of the grill. So we have the beef side of the grill, and then we have the chicken and pork side of the grill. And that way, the, the chefs kind of divide into those two sides. Each skewer has its own dedicated chef who not only cooks the meat back in the kitchen, but also serves and slices it out in the dining room. The chefs each are in charge of not only serving the meat, but they're in charge of butchering the meat, seasoning the meat, and preparing the meat on the grill. And as they bring it to the dining room, they're always looking for the red and green disc on every table, because that's the customer's way of letting the waiters know if they're ready to eat some meat. This is a red and green disc. This controls your meat service. So whenever you're ready for the meats, you flip it over to the green side. But when you need a break, you just go back to the red side. While dining here is certainly a beef bonanza, there's plenty more on the menu, like baby back ribs dry rubbed with salt, garlic, and pepper, double cut lamb chops imported from New Zealand and seasoned with lemon and mint, and a mouth-watering pork loin crusted in Parmesan cheese. As it's almost done cooking on the grill, we're gonna put Parmesan cheese on top of it and let it melt. So you get the great flavor of the pork with the awesome flavor of the Parmesan cheese. So it's a great combination. And for even more cheese, make sure you give the green light to the guy walking around with this board of grilled mozzarella. And what we do is we grill it just like the meats so it has a nice brown golden crust with a really gooey center. There's not many people at the table that decline that. In case that's not enough food for you, every table also gets side dishes of garlic mashed potatoes, fried polenta, caramelized bananas, and absolutely addictive cheese bread made with yucca flour. The yucca flour is much lighter than your traditional uh, wheat flour. It really is a kind of a cheese puff, uh, very light bread that is just absolutely wonderful. To top it all off, there's even a gourmet salad and sidebar in the middle of the dining room with 50 different items, including meats and cheeses from around the world, a giant wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano, and a big bowl of deep fried bacon. For dessert, there's traditional flan, rich chocolate mousse cake, and a silky papaya cream topped with black currant liqueur. And while a meal here is all you can eat, customers really come for all the delicious options. I don't think it's about uh, how much they eat, it's more the variety. You know, people like to come in and try the variety and that's what I think they really enjoy. Mm -hmm.